Hi everyone, and thanks for watching our channel. In this episode, I'd like to show you how to make a cabriolet leg using the Aspire software. One of the traditional ways would be to take the block of material, the rough shape out on a bandsaw, and then finishing it by hand with shapers and scrapers and files. Another way would be to design it within the Aspire software, creating a rotary view. It's very difficult to do this, especially something like a claw and ball leg. But with some practice, you can. Positioning the 3D component of the leg within the software is also problematic, as you need to make sure the red center line is hidden. Here's another option. We're going to use the two rail sweep. I've drawn my vectors that I'm going to use as the rails, and of course, my shapes as well. The first shape will create more of a block that will get attached to the seat of your chair. Position it correctly as needed, then choose our second shape. You can create the shapes as necessary. I position that second shape as close as I can to the first shape, so there's a very slight transition from a square to a softer shape. I have a third shape that I wanted to transition into, positioning it lower in the leg. Hit apply. There's half of our leg. I'm going to take an additional step, something I do on a regular basis, and I'm going to export it as an STL so that I can use it in later sessions of the software. So to export it, we click on our icon. We're going to export it with a flat back. Triangulate. It'll show us a version of what it would look like, our half leg, and we'll save it. We're going to use this STL file in a new session of Aspire as a two-sided project. But I also want to save it for a rotary project. So we'll export it with an inverted front. That gives us a full 3D model of the leg. We triangulate and save. Now I want to open up a new session of Aspire. This will be our two-sided project. I set the dimensions of our material.
preview our model. In the 3D view, we can preview both sides if we want. Close. I'm going to generate a finished toolpath. In this case, we're using an eighth inch ball nose. I'm going to choose that same machining limit boundary of the selected level, the model level, with a boundary offset of 0.1 inch. And hit calculate. Preview your toolpath, and you'll see that your bit went below the bottom of the model as well as the tabs are still visible, holding your piece secure. We now go to the bottom side, the other side of this project.
First, you select the three holes, the three circles, and these are going to be drilled into your spoil board for your registration pins. If you don't like ruin your spoil board, you can use a sacrificial spoil board. We're only going to go down a half of an inch just to hold the pins. They're registration pins. They're not meant to secure your material. So you still need to figure out a way to clamp or hold your material to the spoil board. That will be a separate file that you'll need to cut independently. Now we generate the roughing toolpath using the same settings as before with the selected level of model. We can jump directly to creating the finished toolpath. Again, using the same settings as from the top side and that model level. Calculate. And we can preview our toolpath. And if we preview all toolpaths, software will allow you to see both sides of the cutting. Now all we need to do is cut it out of our block of material, a little bit of light sanding, and you're ready to finish it. So let's try the last option of cutting this leg as a rotary. We open a new session of Aspire, and in this case it will be a rotary option, setting up our material with the appropriate thickness, positioning. I like the XY in my rotary to, the be, the, to be the bottom left hand corner, and that's your choice, whatever is comfortable for you. I'm going to import that full 3D model of the leg that we created earlier. This is where it gets a little tricky. You have to make sure that the red center line of your material is not exposed. If it is, you'll get some deformities. You'll get a web that sort of sticks out because that's the center of your material. You have the option within the software to position your model as necessary. I just slid the model over so the red center line is hidden. Adjust my material thickness, my, or I can adjust my model thickness. And there's our leg. We're going to view it as a flat model, and that's how it's originally designed. And this is in the rotary. Remember that in the rotary portion of the software, you design as a flat, and that information is then rotated around a rotary axis. We're going to create a roughing toolpath. We're going to choose the model boundary and calculate. I'm going to jump directly into creating a finished toolpath, model boundary, again, I want to make sure that we have a bit of a boundary offset as well, and hit calculate. We can preview all sides. And there's our finished leg in the rotary version. So you can do it a couple different ways. If you have a rotary, this is one option. If you don't have a rotary, you can always use the two-sided approach. If you want to learn more about the Vectric software and what can be done, please subscribe to my channel. 
you'll be notified of any new videos being produced. And if you have a question, send me an email, mm.mazalik.com. Thanks for watching. See you next week.